Hi there, and welcome to Catch This Design, where we build websites and marketing materials that work for you. Are you a business owner, virtual assistant, or online marketer in charge of updating blogs or sending out company e-zines and newsletters? If so, you'll find this tutorial informational and useful when it comes to dealing with images and getting them online to use. Today I'll be demonstrating how to upload an image to PhotoBucket's free image hosting account. Then we'll add some text to the photo and use it to embed in my blog as a quick and easy example of how you also can use fresh images in all of your online marketing projects and on social media sites. So without further ado, let's get started. First we're going to go to the PhotoBucket account, PhotoBucket website, which is www photobucket.com. Now as you can see I'm already signed into my account. Um, you would need to set up your free account first and get logged in but once you do this will be the screen you're, you're presented with. So I'll just show you a few things here. Firstly uh, we're going to be dealing with uploading images here and down here uh, as you can see there's one image right now with a bullseye. That is the only image I currently have in my photo bucket account. So first things first, let's upload an image to work with. Over here you have choices as to whether you want to upload it from your computer, from the web, I don't know why, mobile phone, or email. In this case we're just going to do a straight upload from the computer. So let's choose our files and I've got it right here and ready and let it upload. Now it wants title so we'll just go post it note. Description I'm going to leave blank for the moment um, because this is just a tutorial piece and tags I'll also leave blank. If you have concerns with regard to search engine optimization and keywords these are the areas where you start putting those in but for now we're just going to leave it like this knowing that this is a basic tutorial and we can get into that in future tutorials. So let's return to the album and see that it's now there. Okay, so half the job is done, but an empty post-it note doesn't say much, doesn't give much of a message. So let's edit that post-it note. Waiting for it to load up, and there it is. So this is the edit screen that you get, and it gives you a ton of options. Right now, first of all, we're viewing our uh, graphic at 100%. If it's something really small you're working on and you want to see it bigger, you can just notch that up. I will point out that it does cause the image to distort. That's only because it's being magnified. When it's saved, it's saved at its 100%, so there will be no distortion. So now up here along the top is where you get all your options. And as you can see, there's a series of tabs that you can select from to access those options. The basic tab will let you do things like fix red eye, crop, resize, and rotate. Effects lets you do things that are a little more artistic. Um, so feel free to play and um, check out what all, what all the options are there. In this case we're just going to do something basic so we're going to decorate with text um, instead of stickers or a speech or thought bubble which are particularly fun sometimes. So here we go we'll just add some text clicking there and I just want to say it's easy because this is really easy and you can do this. So I don't think the font face is quite what I was looking for. So we'll just go over here and select something that's more to my liking. This one. And I also don't like that it's got a white background behind the text. That doesn't allow the picture to show through. So we want to select transparent background. Now as you can see it's starting to look more like what we're after. I want to rotate it a little bit. Like so. And just bring it down here. And I think that's about all I want to do with that piece of text. Now there's one more I want to add, so I'll just click the text button again and type that in. Step by step how to video. Click here. We're going to again change that font face because it's really not working for us. So we'll go with Arial and I want to change it to red, something to stand out a little more. And we want to just kind of adjust this to make it the text a little smaller. There we go. 
And again, make that background transparent. Bring this down here, rotate it about that much, and click Apply. It was easy, wasn't it? Okay, so now we want to save a copy so that we don't overwrite the original. And there it is. So to get back to um, my list of images that I have, I'm just going to click on my account name link right there. And I'm going to say share. So for this one, I just want link code, just HTML, the, um, let's see, where is it here? Direct link for layout pages. So that's the one I want today. So I'm just going to click that and say copy. Now, in this page, you have options that you can share it by email, you can add it to websites and blogs, uh, you can do all kinds of fun things. You, so, I mean, those are things that you're going to want to play with. At the moment, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the basic insert into a blog with a URL. So, I've clicked here because I don't want the HTML. I'm copying it and I will say save. Now, I'm going to pop over to my blog here and I'm going to put it in right where I want it, which is right there. So, I'll delete that and click the Add an Image button. Now here it's going to ask for From My Computer. That's an option that WordPress allows, not all blogs do. So if your blog doesn't, this is what you need. It's From URL. This means that the image is already on the internet. And the URL is what I copied from Photobucket. So I'm going to paste that there, just like that. And if you just scroll back to the start of it, you'll see that it looks like any other website address. It's it's on the internet, so we can now use it. So we'll call this Post-It Note. And we're not going to put a caption on it for now. I'm just going to leave that blank, but you can certainly play with that. Now, I want to link this image to my home page. So I'm just going to put this in right now. Because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be linking this image to my home page where I'm going to be embedding this video tutorial. And click insert into post. There it is. Nice and easy. So let's just save that draft. And I'll just pop over to here where I have a preview of the post hit refresh and there it is in my blog post ready to go right now I haven't got this published I will be publishing it a little later today um, if you wanted to test it out all you got to do is roll your mouse over there you can see that there's a link so if we just click that link we can see then that it's gonna pop us right over to my website exactly where I wanted it to go so that's as easy as it is I hope you found this helpful. Stay tuned for more great how-to tips on keeping up with your marketing strategies using free online tools. And if you have a how-to question you would like us to answer, please visit our website at www.catchthis.ca and drop us an email or leave a comment on our blog and we'll be sure to get back to you with an answer. Who knows, maybe it will be the answer to your question that we feature in our next video tutorial. Thanks and have a great day.